Hey, what's up? Abdurrahman Al Hamdan here for Al Hamdan Films. Uh, welcome to our very first Cinema 4D tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, I'll be talking. I'll be talking to you about using Expresso for Cinema 4D and making a seamless, for automatic seamless floor look. Okay, let's begin. Uh, here I have this nice gun model with some ambient occlusion. I'll turn that off for now. I have this model it looks it looks really good but I want to render it and save it and I want that uh, seamless look seamless floor look uh, to do that all I have to do is go to my content browser go to my favorites folder and just drag and drop this uh, seamless floor null and just drop it And I have a seamless floor that I can edit. I can make it a circular, I can make it diagonal, and I can choose what colors I want. Uh, now I have this kind of look with no shadows. If I turn on ambient occlusion, I have these nice looking shadows. And I can change the colors just by going in the menus of the seamless floor and going to a different color. So I want a nice blue, dark blue to black transition let's see what that look like yeah, kind of like that and let's just turn on ambient occlusion see how that looks shouldn't take that much time ok so you can see that the shadows look m much more realistic they look a lot better and we have some nice shadows here and so I'll be talking to you about how to make this automatic seamless floor. Okay, let's get started. Make a new file, file new, uh, and let's build it first. I'll go to my option, uh, my objects, and select plane. Control Z, and just scale it up. And go to file new. First, make a background background go to file new material double click on that go to texture gradient click on the gradient choose 2d circular and set the outer one to white and uh, I mean the inner one to white and the outer one to grayish color uh, maybe a tad lighter okay and apply that material to the background and to the plane go to the texture tag on the plane and choose frontal mapping and right click on the plane and choose cinema 4d tags compositing tag click on compositing background now we have this cool look uh, these don't appear in the final render so they won't be considered uh, now we have these we go to objects null object drag them both to the null object and just click enter in windows option in mac i mean turn on mac and type in seamless floor if, or anything you want now right click go to cinema 4d tags choose expresso drag the seamless floor to the expresso and double click on the material go to the gradient drag the gradient shader and drag it to the expresso editor close that for now click on the seamless floor go to user data add user data and make the first one gradient and set the default value uh, set the default value to white to gray and close that open up the expresso editor by double clicking the expresso tag <coughs> uh, click on the red output uh, button for the seamless floor go to uh, object properties no uh, um, where was 
بندازید All right, we didn't choose. Okay, <coughs> choose gradient. Set that white to gray. Choose click. Okay, now click on seamless floor. Go to user data data and data, <laughs> and go to the gradient input go to shader properties color gradient gradient just drag these drag the output on the seamless floor to the input on the gradient and there you go okay now click on the seamless floor user data uh, rename this user data by going to manage user data and just uh, set the name to uh, gradient gradient yes and just click ok and now when you let's do a quick render so you can see what it looks like and if you change these values they're connected together the espresso editor so it automatically changes the stuff in the material okay so uh, now you can just save it and do all that you want to do uh, but I want to add one more thing uh, I want to go to user data add user data and uh, no not no we need to do this a bit later just double click the espresso no uh, I mean double click the material go to the gradient right click the type uh, go to copy user data interface click the seamless floor go to user data add new user data and click right click and paste now we have the type and just delete all these unless you want that kind of look and uh, delete these Okay, now you can uh, set the default, go to manage, set the default value to circular, <coughs> click OK, open up the Expresso editor again, click on the output, go to user data type, and go to the input on the gradient, shader properties, type, just drag it there okay <coughs> now you can choose circular diagonal radial let's see what radial looks like oh no uh, right you need to we don't need radial uh, delete radial you can add other things you want I just found that these are things that I like to stick with. The diagram gives you that kind of look, which is kind of nice if you want to. Um, just go to the type, set the default value to circular. Click OK. Okay, everything works now. Uh, we can just go to File, Save, and save it wherever you want. I'll just save it as sf.c4d. <coughs> and now if you open any project you have for example mm, this iPhone model I have which wasn't modeled by me so I'm not lying in telling you that okay uh, I can just go to window content browser I have it already here uh, if you want to add yours just go to the place you saved your file <coughs> and uh, just drag it and drop it oops uh, delete this from here D 
drag this and drop it here then you can drag this and drop it here right click uh, reset to default <coughs> and now you automatically have that endless floor look uh, to increase the effect I'll just add ambient occlusion you have those nice shadows there and it all looks good so thanks for watching this tutorial my name is Abdurrahman Hamdan for Hamdan Films uh, please subscribe if you haven't I'd appreciate a thumbs up thanks for watching see you next time